How about another joke, Murray? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Joe? What the? Bro, I look, I look, I look f***ing sick. Bro, hello, everybody. Hello, everybody flooding in. It's, <laughs> we're Halloween themed. I'm in the f***ing Joker fit from Suicide Squad, the first one. We're doing something special today, hence the f***ing drip. I got a, I, I got a fake tattoos and everything. I look sick. We're doing the ultimate Halloween candy tier list. I think it's 72 different candies or Halloween type things that not all of them are candies because you know how sometimes you don't get candy on Halloween. Like some of the items are like an apple, popcorn, Swiss mess, Slim Jams. Anyways, stop. Don't make fun of me, please. Okay, thank you for the people saying drip. Thank you for the people saying drip. <laughs> an ultimate Halloween candy tier list. I have a bunch of candy off camera in front of me right now. We're going first on chocolate-based candy bars. That's why we have Hershey's. I think that's a good start to start with and just give us a base review. But to start off, we have Hershey's. Hershey's chocolate. Where are you guys putting Hershey's chocolate? Personally, before I even eat it, I already know where it's going. Whoever the fuck just said N tier, that's not even a tier. I would say that Hershey's chocolate is more of a base candy. I wouldn't say that it actually has any like defining qualities. I would say it's okay. I would say it's a mid tier candy. The reason I wanted to start off with Hershey's and this might piss some people off because I see a lot of people putting A and S. I'm gonna be putting Hershey's in a solid C tier. Now, let me explain why. Listen. It's chocolate. Everybody loves chocolate. However, it's the original. There's nothing special about it. It's the most basic candy, and it's also not that good. Next is cookies and cream Hershey's. We're starting off with some rough takes, chat. I don't like cookies and cream, but I know that I have to appeal to my audience to a degree, right? This is a tier list based on my own opinion coupled with my chat's opinion. So even though I personally, in like E, or maybe D. I know the majority of my chat is putting S and A. So for that reason, I am I am willing to compromise and put Hershey's in B. Hershey's almonds. Hers no, it's not Hershey's almond. Hershey's. It's just the basic Hershey's chocolate bar with almonds in it. Let me just go off on on a little rant, on, on a little tangent here. I I am not someone to say that that nuts in in candy is bad. Okay, the odds of a candy being good when it has peanut butter in it is good. But the odds of a candy being good when it has a whole ass nut in it, like indents. Look at that shit. I don't like that. This it, this doesn't make it healthy. I don't like that there's a whole ass fucking almond taking up my Hershey's chocolate bar. People that hand these out on Halloween are dickheads. And I would say that Hershey's almonds is a D tier. Now we're going into Mr. Good Bar. Mr. Good Bar is literally the same fucking thing. It's the same goddamn thing as a Hershey's bar, but it has peanuts instead of almonds, okay? I would say that makes it slightly better. I would personally put Mr. Good Bar at a C tier. 100 grand bar. Say yes if you have ever gotten a 100 grand bar in your candy bag. But I am getting a lot of yeses. I am getting a lot of noes. I would say it matches very similarly to a Milky Way. I would put a 100 grand bar in a B tier, okay? This is weird, but I could not find a fun-sized Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers is generally accepted, but a lot of people would rather not have it over other candies, okay? It's really soft. It also has trans fats in it, I'm pretty sure, which kills you, but I think I think a Three Musketeers is pretty solid. Probably as satisfied, if not more satisfied, than these fuckers. So for that, I'm gonna put it in a B tier. So we have the two biggest candy bars that most people know of. Milky Way and Snickers. I could also not find fun size for these. I think it's because people were buying them out early to give them away. I would say it's better than, I would say it's better than, than a Three Musketeer. Who the fuck just said F for a Milky Way? Princess Taylor, fuck you. I have to put it A, because I said I like caramel based foods or candies. So I would personally put a Milky Way at an A tier. The next one, Snickers, okay? The biggest candy bar Ever. I am about to drop half of my view count with the roughest take I'm ever about to say. Whole nuts in your fucking candy. That's a, that's a whole ass peanut right there. That's a whole ass peanut right there. It literally just fell in my fucking lap too. Fuck! I have to put a C. Whole ass peanuts in my mouth right now. Whole ass peanuts in my in my mouth right now. The Almond Joy is almost, is almost nationally hated. Whoever... Whoever thinks that this is all is good, you are fucking weird. Tell me this doesn't look weird. Tell me, tell me this doesn't look like a weird fucking candy. What is this? It is a coconut bar with an almond on it. This is like grandma shit, bro. It's the fact that they shoved a whole ass almond on it. E. It's not F. 
It's not F. We are about to get into some F soon enough, okay? It's bad, but I'd rather have it over a few things. Mounds is the exact equivalent of an Almond Joy, but it has no, it has no Almond on it. And I believe it's also Dark Chocolate. I think the Almond Joy is Light Chocolate, and this is Dark Chocolate. Same exact thing, Dark Chocolate. Dark Chocolate, obviously better. Still coconut-based candy. A coconut-based candy is not that good in any fashion, right? So I generally have to put mounds one tier above. Chat, yes or no? I will, I will, I will agree with my chat on this one. Would we like to put mounds in a C? People are saying no. Everyone's saying no, 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 nay, nay. A few yes, mostly no's. Okay, 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 okay. Next is payday. Um, Payday bars are really unpopular. Payday bars are coincidentally the healthiest candy bar uh, that you could eat. This is a regular payday, which I believe is just uh, nuts surrounding caramel. But I got the chocolate-based uh, payday, which is the same exact thing. However, there is a massive chocolate coating around it. Mm. It, it just, it's just certain candies like these remind me of like your grandparents' house. You base the list off of the other things that are already in the list. So for that, I'm gonna put Payday in D. Baby Ruth, the weirdest fucking candy bar in the world. Uh, a Baby Ruth is essentially a Milky Way with peanuts. It's not bad. It's not as good as a Milky Way because you added peanuts. I would say Baby Ruth is C. Is a Baby Ruth the same thing as a fucking Snickers? Cause I was chewing caramel there and I didn't mention caramel. Next is Twix. Twix is, this is where I have some rough takes. I know. Twix, I, I, I would assume my chat is gonna put Twix in S, which is fine. I don't think a Twix bar is bad. What I will say is it varies on the candy bar and left and right Twix, to my knowledge, are different. A few days back, I Googled it with my chat and I learned that right Twix and left Twix actually have different wafer amounts. I would say the hardness of the wafer is what makes the candy bar good or bad. I would say if if you left this out in like your car in your car in the winter and it got cold, I would say Twix is bad because then it gets too crunchy. You know, I would personally say Twix is 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 around. I would say on average, it would match a Three Musketeers 100 grand crunch bar. Before I give my opinion, before I give my opinion, where are you guys putting the crunch bar? A, C. I'm seeing a lot of B, A's, and C's. A lot of people think a crunch bar is a mid-tier candy. What I like about a crunch bar is it give it, it it gives it gives a candy bar texture without having the the peanut the peanut shit. And it's it's little rice. It's little rice things. It's little rice bubbles. I think that's always entertaining to eat. It's the equivalent of a Hershey's bar with some like pop. I would give it a B. So now that's done with that's done with the chocolate bar slash candy bar section for a little bit. We do have Butterfinger, Kit Kat, all that shit. Next is uh the chewy section. Uh I don't know why I decided to do a chewy section. It just made the most sense to split it up this way so it would be more structured. Uh but first off is airheads. Airheads are complicated for the main reason that there's different there's different flavors. Everybody has an airhead flavor in their mind that th that is their their favorite flavor. You usually get a pack of 6. My point is is that most people usually have a flavor where they would say is like S like for example, some people might say, "Oh, cherry's S tier." You have to judge all the candies in general, and I'm not going to try each one. I'm only going to try one, but I am going to keep my rating in mind, you like thinking about the fact that there are other flavors that are better or worse than this flavor. To me, personally, cherry is my favorite flavor. So, putting that into, into account, also putting into account the bad flavors, I would personally say orange airheads are bad, but I would personally say airheads also lands itself in a B tier. Dots? I don't know what... I, I used to think that it was a general consensus that dots were bad. And that's what my chat's seeming to say. I see my the majority of my chat putting F and E. Dots by 80% of the people, dots are F or E. But there are a few motherfuckers that love dots. Props to you. Fucking tip my hat to you. When, when it was Halloween, you probably got all the fucking dots from the other kids. No fucking way. I was about to say that the red ones are the only good ones, and that is not even variety. That is one yellow and all reds. That's- I'm getting another one. I'm get, that's- there's no chance that's actually- there's no chance that's actually how it is. See, this is more variety. This is more variety. This is- this is what I would call variety. A yellow, red, green, orange. That's variety. Dots aren't bad, okay? They're not good. They're not good. Oh, no, no. It tastes chemically. Oh, no, 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 no. I would put them C. Realistically, if I'm in the mood, I might have a Dots over an Almond Joy. Next is Fruity Chews. I have an off-brand Fruity Chews, and I have a regular Fruity Chews. I'm not going to eat the off-brand one, because I know that one's going to make me lower the 
the rating, but a, uh, a fruit chew or a fruity chew is essentially a Tootsie Roll, but flavored. Same exact uh, consistency. These are much more enjoyable than Dots. I would say they have the flavor of Dots without the artificialness. Bro, if that shit's that damn sticky and I'm putting it in my mouth, it cannot be good. I would say C. I would say C. I don't really classify gummy bears as, as, as candy. I don't know why. I never have. I don't know. They don't just, they just don't feel like candy to me. And they also annoyingly fucking congeal together in the package. They all just fucking stick together in one fucking blob that you have to like, you have to like wedge out of the, oh fuck no. Like that's just annoying to me. They taste fine. They don't have the stickiness factor that, that the fruity chews have. For that, I kind of want to put them in B. So yeah, uh, jelly beans. Where are y'all putting jelly beans? I, I am not a fan. I am not a fan. I, <sighs> Just like they don't look appetizing like that one. I know that one's flavored differently that one right there that has the specs on it But it looks like it looks rotting. It looks like it's rotten. You got blueberry. That's normal green apple lemon lime cotton candy pina colada tangerine tutti frutti Right then you get to the weird flavors buttered popcorn toasted marshmallow coconut I don't want to eat coconut or bubble gum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat the, my, the a flavor that I would believe is good and a flavor that I would believe is bad. So for the flavor that I would believe is good, I'm going to be fucking with very cherry. And then we're also going to... Yo! Is that green or black? That's watermelon. I'm not eating that one. We're also going to be giving licorice a try. We're not going to be giving licorice a try. F. This is the first definite non-candy that we are having. Fuck, dude. Yo! And this is this might be a rough take here, okay? If I were given a fruit by the foot for a Halloween candy, I wouldn't be upset. I would actually be pretty happy. It is kind of candy-ish. It's chewy. This might be a bad take, but I think my chat's agreeing with me. I kind of would have put fruit by the foot in A tier. It realistically is candy, but it's socially seen as not candy because you eat it regularly. Uh, Laffy Taffy. Now, there's there's a similar fashion of Laffy Taffy's issues uh, that Airheads had. Airheads issue was that there's a, a large variety. Some flavors are very good. Some flavors are very bad. Laffy Taffy's issue is that um, it has some okay flavors. And then it has the most dog shit flavor of candy that you will ever have. And it's probably the worst candy I would ever rank. Banana Laffy Taffy. I don't care how many of you love banana Laffy Taffy. That shit is fucking psychotic. If you like banana flavored candy, specifically banana flavored taffy, that's fucking gross, dude. No. When you try to fucking take it off, it congeals to the fucking wrapper, dude. And then you're stuck with some shit that looks like this. And you can't fucking eat it. I want to put it in F. Because it has, it has, I, I might put it in F, realistically. Because I put jelly, I put jelly beans in F because they had a, sh a few shit flavors and then a few okay flavors. And it's the same thing that goes with Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy's might squeeze themselves out in an E because they do have okay flavors. And I would much rather have an okay Laffy Taffy than an okay jelly bean. So for that reason, I will put it in E. Next is my shit. This is my shit. I fucking love Mike and Ike's may or may not be our first S. T Whoever the fuck just said F, I hate you. Mike and Ike's are amazing, dude. Something that's special about Mike and Ike's is they don't really stick to your teeth as much as you would think they would. They do, because they're chewy. I don't think I would choke to death if I had to swallow one of these, right? Also, they have, for the basic flavors, they have cherry, lemon, strawberry, lime, and orange. Those are all pretty good. As well as, like, for me personally, I don't like orange-flavored candy or lime-flavored candy. But I like lime and orange Mike and Ikes. I don't think they're bad. So for that, I'm going to put it in S. That's our first S tier. Okay? Realistically, I might put it in A. Actually, I'll put it top of A. I'll put it top of A. I, like, I consider the ones that are farthest to the left as the top of their tier. So I'm going to put my connects in top of A. Next is Skittles. Skittles is probably is probably one of the most popular candies. I would say maybe the most popular candy. I would feel like the majority of my chat as they are spamming now is S. They're going with S. They're going with S tier for Skittles. I would I would say that Skittles Skittles are probably better than Mike and Ike's. They have the chew. They have no stick. No stick to the mouth, okay? The flavor, the flavor of these two match. Almost identical. Okay, but I would say the flavors of these match for the sole reason that these are only better than Mike and Ike's because there is no stick I would have to put them in S and also 
this is not on the list, but this is a, this is a memorable mention, okay? This is a memorable mention. Sour Skittles would be above S. They would be S+. Plus. Okay, Sour Patch Kids might also be a Mac, and they come in they come in a little fun sized. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love these. I love these. Yes, I love sour candy. Number one. I love gummies. Number two. Number three. I like the flavors that they have. The one flavor, and this is where I'm going to have the rough take. The rough take is not me putting the Sour Patch Kids in S, because the majority of people are agreeing with me that they're A or S. But the rough take that I'm going to have is that I don't like the blue flavored uh, Sour Patch Kids. I don't think they're bad. I will eat them. But I think they're the worst flavor. Whereas most people think they're the best flavor. I like cherry the most. Okay? That's the rough take. That's the rough take. Blue is not the best, in my own opinion. Blue is the worst. But they are good. Okay? Y'all actually like sour flavored candy? Yes. I love sour flavored candy. It's a, I don't want sour flavored candy to the point where it's unenjoyable. I like sour things. I like spicy things. It's, it's, it's enjoyable to, like, have fun with, I guess. Crawly Sour Bright Crawler Minis. I have never had these, okay? The only reason I'm including them in the list is because this is a new up-and-coming candy. I probably just never had them because when I, when I was trick-or-treating, I don't think these candies existed. Uh, they're essentially just gummy worms, as you can see. Um, but they're like mini ones, and I think it's just the brand of them that makes them good. People are saying S tier. Most people are saying B tier. The, this is, before I even shoot, before I even bite one of them, this is what I'm gonna judge it on. Number one, the taste, obviously. Number two, how chewy it is. A problem that gummy worms have is that you have, they're very hard. Oh my god. They're not hard at all. Oh my god. The flavor is not... The reason I said, oh my god, is because they're, they're like the first gummy worm I've ever had where it like it actually just collapses when you bite into it. But I don't think the flavor's that good. I think the flavor's, I think the flavor's good. I don't think it's amazing. I would put these in A. I would say maybe in contention for B, but they're not S. They're not S. They don't have the OG factor that Skittles and Sour Patch Kids do. They don't have the flavor that Sour Patch Kids and Skittles do. Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. Most people would like these more, I, in my mind. I don't really know. I, I think that Sour Patch Kids Watermelon are, are probably the best movie candy. They're very good Halloween candy. They're my favorite movie candy. Oh my god. Immaculate. The taste, amazing, right? The one thing that I don't like is the variety factor of the fact that um most chewy candies have like multiple flavors, whereas Sour Patch Kids Watermelon is only Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. But because they're enjoyable in and out of Halloween, I would say they're S tier. Now, these are another thing that I've never had. Uh, let me actually get the bag. Sour Punch Bites. I don't know if they hand these out on Halloween, but they were in the Halloween candy aisle. So, um, and I have heard of them recently. So I, I, I believe that I should try them. Uh, they look like, they look like this. They're like, they're hollow tubes. They look kind of cheap to me. I they're uh, what I'm noticing is an is an un, unpleasant aftertaste. The kid the, the initial taste is the aftertaste is disgusting. See exactly initial taste. I would say I would say maybe B. Aftertaste is is bringing them down to C, as well as the fact that they're sticking to my gums, which annoys me. Swedish fish are. Uh, I feel like a mood type thing. I feel the same way about Swedish fish that I do about Minecraft. In that like you go through phases of liking them. I've never not enjoyed, like, I've never said no to a Swedish fish, but there's points in my life where, like, I will only eat Swedish fish if there's a, a choice of candy, or I will only eat, um, only not eat Swedish fish. I feel like I overdo it. I feel like they're very good for a while, and then you just kind of get over them. Kind of hard to discern. I don't even know what I would describe the flavor as. It's not cherry. I'd probably say B, maybe A, probably A, because I would say they're better than Fruit by the Foot. And the trolleys. So I would say A tier. They're they're not S. They're not S. S tier, they have to be eatable at all times, right? Next is Starburst. I think Starbursts are very unique. They're the only candy that comes in a strip like this that is not a candy bar. I will say that Starbursts have an annoying factor to them. And the fact that you can't really tell what variety you're going to get unless you get the specific like all pink ones or something. As well as the fact that they're individually wrapped. That brings it down. Okay? Now I know for other fucking ratings and other fucking content creators that are doing tier lists, they're not they're not putting that in, into fucking play, right? They're only basing it off the taste. 
I'm putting this into play. If I'm too lazy to fucking individually take each one of these out and then fucking put this shit in my pocket or some shit so I don't litter, I don't like that. If they didn't have it, theoretically speaking, I know this would not work. They have to individually wrap them so they don't stick together. Say you open the stick and they were all already unwrapped, Starburst would be an S. But the individually wrap unwrapping them puts them at an A. Next is Dum Dums. Now we're back up. We're out of we're out of the chewy candy for right now. Okay, we have we do have some chewy candy later on that's like miscellaneous. But we're now onto a long list of hard candy, going for like ten candies straight. So first we're starting out with lollipops. I don't know if this is relatable, but um, I used to always get these as a kid when I would go with my mom to the bank. Bank teller would always give uh, me a dum dum. They're enjoyable. They're enjoyable. I would say they're C. Next is Tootsie Pops. Uh, a, a step up to Dum Dums. Tootsie Pops are kind of like the, um, literally just the better version of Dum Dums. I would say they're better than Dum Dums, but they're worse than everything else in A. Uh, Blow Pops. Blow Pops, the issue with Blow Pops is that, um, the gum on the inside sucks. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Hubba Bubba, or it's just uh, like an off-brand, or not Hubba Bubba, fucking Double Bubble. The shape of Blow Pops is amazing the issue with uh, the issue with a fucking a tootsie pop is that a tootsie pop's shape is unpleasant to the mouth they kind of balance each other out so the flavor's better on the blow pop but the inside's better on the tootsie pop i would say they're both b i'd really realistically say they're both b uh next is is good old jolly rancher lollipop uh these are are very unknown uh but you do get them on halloween i have got them on halloween multiple times they're the annoying off brand uh look most off-brand lollipops are flat like this, uh, but they do have the Jolly Rancher taste. It's got the taste of a Jolly Rancher, the only thing that's good about it. The lollipop itself kind of sucks. I would put them at D. Actually, a Mr. Good bar. Next is Jolly Rancher. Now, I think that Jolly Ranchers are the greatest invention of a hard candy ever made. Okay, the reason being is that they have the taste of a lollipop. It's not a lot of sugar. I mean, it's sugar and it's just essentially straight hard sugar. It takes you fucking 15 minutes to finish it, right? So for that, so for that, I'm going to put them S. I could enjoy a Jolly Rancher any day of the fucking week. The Jolly Rancher stick, on the other hand, I think is probably one of the worst inventions ever made. It's impossible to open because they don't give you the ridges, if you've noticed. So you literally just have to like fucking manhandle it open. And you have to you have to hold the wrapper. It's more inconvenient. And see, this is what I don't get. Jolly Ranchers, you were fucking amazing with the Jolly Rancher, right? Jolly Rancher sticks. You just made the convenience worse. And see, the main issue that people have to solve this is doing this and just eating the motherfucker whole. But then you gotta talk like this or have it shit sideways in your mouth. And for that, I'm putting them D. Next is a ring pop. Ring pops are fun. They're also fucking disgusting. For the main reason that, um, it sits on your fucking finger and you look like a weirdo. And they're meant for kids. I can't really jam it. Like, the ring itself, I could put it on my pinky and it fits. Flavor's there. What I will say is that when you when you eat it for a while, saliva accumulates on this ring here. I'm not a germaphobe, but that's fucking gross. I would say they're an E tier. The flavor, in all honesty, is probably a C or a B because they don't taste that bad. They're okay. Uh, next would be Jawbusters. Jawbusters is more of an off-brand type candy. Uh, not that many people know of them, but you've probably gotten something. Even if you've never gotten a Jawbuster, you've gotten one of these hard candies that's just in like a weird circle. Everybody knows why they're called Jawbusters. Pretty self-explanatory. It takes forever to fucking eat them, and if you just bit down, you'd break your jaw. Uh, jaw buster, hence the fucking name. Not a lot of flavor. The flavor that you get feels cheap. Feels like you're gnawing on a really hard sugar cube. They're not good, okay? I would say jaw busters are probably a D. Probably actually an E. I would rate them an E as well. Maybe an F, in all honesty. Probably an F. I'm actually gonna put them in an F tier. But now that I'm thinking about it, they're just unenjoyable. They're really unenjoyable. I'd rather have Dot. I'd rather have any of these. Because they're not good. They're not a good hard candy. They're not a good candy. It literally just tastes like a very compacted sugar cube, which is bad. Push Pops. Is that Push Pops have fixed their problem that I would have shit on. I don't know if any of you recall this. Uh, I am- I'm 19, half of my viewers are like 16, so... You guys might be a little younger, but what I will say is they fixed the issue of how you get the ring or the, the push pop out. If anybody recalls, does any, tell me, tell me if you remember this. Push pops used to be a, uh, you would have to like shake it out and that was annoying as fuck. You used to have to get them, you, have, you would have to go like this. You would literally go and you would like flick it out. So I would probably put it here. 
I'd probably put it right after Blow Pops. Uh, next is the Juicy Drop Pop. Uh, this is a, a very fun candy. Uh, it's got the fucking hard candy here that goes at the bottom. It's not gross because you could just jam it right back in there. That sounded weird. Uh, but it also has the little fucking sourness aspect of it. If you want to fucking get... It also has the, the little divot so you can like pour the fucking, the fucking juicy drop shit on it. I like it. Because if if you're if you're a fan of sour candy, you can use the the drop part at the top. If you're not, you can literally just eat this. I think it's creative. I think it's enjoyable. I would say that it is not um S tier. I would say it's an A. Uh, lemon heads. Fuck! I just dropped that. Lemon heads are weird. It's the same issue that the fucking Jawbusters have, and they're only one flavor. Jawbusters has a variety, whereas lemon heads um don't. It's just it just feels cheap. It feel it feels the same cheapness that that Jawbusters do. I I I know that people might want these more than Jawbusters. I would put them E. Next is the this this isn't even a brand. I just added a picture of assorted hard candies because um it's very common in uh Halloween that you're just going to get like off-brand shit. And so off-brand hard candies from like grandmas that forgot that it was fucking Halloween is very common. So I just went to uh like a local store and got their generic brand. Tastes similar to what you would get at a dock doctor's office. It's not good. They'll be probably happier than if you got jelly beans, so I would probably put them E. Warheads. Now, warheads for me are amazing because I love sour candy, but some people that get warheads would probably be very upset, right, that they got a warhead because some people hate fucking sour candy. You can't really enjoy them every day because they kind of like erode the top of your mouth. Your mouth starts bleeding or feels eroded, which is a problem. But, um, for that, I'm gonna put them C tier, because I'm gonna- I, I- I am gonna weigh in the fact that a lot of people don't like sour candy. Uh, next is M&M's. We have both M&M's and peanut M&M's. Uh, M&M's, I- I- I don't even really need to eat to say the same damn thing that I'm about to say that I said about Hershey's. They're B. Uh, peanut M&M's is the one candy that I will say- It doesn't bother me that there's whole peanuts. Now, I know this contradicts everything that I said previously, but the reason I don't think it bothers me is because it's a chocolate flake. It's a chocolate covered peanut. It's simple. It's not mixing it with a lot. I'll put it at Butterfingers. Arguably one of the least healthy candies you could eat. Uh, Butterfingers generally have a very low, um, a very, a very low eat rate to how bad you feel. Cause after you eat a few of these, you're going to feel like shit. It kind of tastes like you're just eating butter. It kind of, uh, you know, weighs on whether or not you actually like butter. I think butter, I think Butterfingers are, are an A tier candy. Next is, uh, Kit Kats. Kit Kats are my favorite chocolate covered candy. I think Kit Kats have the fucking, the snap to it. I don't know if the mic's going to pick this up. It did not pick it up. That was a very weak snap. Just got the snap in the commercial. They kind of hyped the snap up, but you can hear it yourself if you're eating them. It's not too crunchy. Even if you put it in the freezer, it still tastes pretty good. I would put them in S. I'll put them above Jolly Ranchers. I'm actually going to eat both sticks because that shit's amazing. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Arguably the best candy out of everything, every single thing on this list. It is annoying that they come in their own individual wrappers, but I understand it because if they didn't, they would fall apart. The peanut butter tastes amazing. Got the chocolate. I would put them S. Immediate S without question. Probably top of S. Reese's Pieces. I really don't even want to open these, so I'm not going to because they taste exactly the same as fucking Reese's Cups. Uh, but they're kind of a knockoff of fucking M&M's. It's literally probably the one candy that I'm not going to eat. They're they're better. I mean, they're better than fucking M&M's. Not as good as peanut M&M's. They're probably worse than peanut M&M's. I don't think putting peanut butter inside a very small candy is a good idea. Uh, so I kind of want to put it at bottom of A. Uh, next is Rolos. Rolos are kind of a cringe candy. They're kind of like Hershey's Kisses. Hershey's Kisses are not on this fucking list because that's a Christmas type candy, not a Halloween candy. Rolos, you have to individually unbox, which is annoying. They're so mid. They're not special. They're C. Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls come in a large variety of shape. They come in the thick boy, the long boy, and then the short boy. I personally like the long boy the most. The long boy, easiest to eat. Uh, Tootsie Rolls, I would not deem them as chocolate, even though they're chocolate flavored. I was going to put them at the top of E, but um, then I looked at all these and I would still probably rather have a Tootsie Roll. A Tootsie Roll is extremely overrated. Uh, they hand them out all the time, but I feel like nobody really gets upset when you actually receive them. Uh, next is Milky Ways. Milky Ways are, or not Milky Ways, Milk Duds. I'm a fucking idiot. Milk Duds. Milk Duds suck. 
Uh, I'm sorry, I used to be a fan of Milk Duds. Milk Duds suck for the chewiness factor. They're annoying as fuck to eat, bro. So fucking chewy. It's just caramel fucking covered in chocolate. I don't like that. E. Whoppers I used to like. Now they- I don't know why I used to like Whoppers. I think the crunch was entertaining to me. Listen, they don't taste bad. They resemble mothballs though, and the aftertaste is weird and artificial sugary. I would actually honestly almost- Whoppers for me used to be a C tier for Halloween when I was younger, but like growing through the years and eating them more and more, I would actually more more resemble them as an F tier. It's- it's the crunch is weird. I don't even know what they are. Like that just sounds bad, bro. I don't like that. Uh, cow tails. I bought one. Cow tails are pretty cool because they come in like packs of one. You can just get them regularly. Uh, a lot of people have not had cow tails. I didn't know that. Uh, they're essentially like, uh, caramel sticks. They look like they'd be chewy. Like chewy to the point where they would stick to your, your fucking teeth, but they're not. They are very chewy. I do feel unhealthy when I eat them, but they taste fine. I, they're, they're kind of mid. I would never really pick them up over anything else. So I'd kind of put them C tier. They're not that good. It's very rare that you're going to get handed one on Halloween, but there's a chance. So that's why I put them C. Twizzler time. We're going to eat all of these and then we're going to rank them. Okay. First you have, these are all, these, these both are fun size. And then I had to buy a whole fucking pack for black licorice because they don't have fun size black licorice. We have Twizzlers twists. These are the regular ones. Then we have the cherry Twizzler and then we have black licorice. First, starting off with the basic Twizzler. Amazing. I really like these. One thing that I did not put on this list again, red vines. Red vines are the counterpart of Twizzlers. They look better. They taste way worse. I had a red vine two weeks ago. Awful. Awful. The red Twizzlers, or not the red Twizzlers, the cherry Twizzlers, they're all red, except the black licorice ones. These ones are fun because you can pull them apart. Like each little fucking node comes off and you can peel them like this which is pretty strat uh, satisfying. It's kind of like string cheese. And it's cherry flavored, which is my favorite flavor. So they're going to be pretty high. I'll actually rank these two together and then we'll do black licorice. Twizzlers are probably going to be going uh, S, in my own opinion. I was going to say top of A. Might as well just go bottom of S. Same with the, the, the cherry ones. Black licorice. Do I need to eat this, chat? They smell foul. They're just like, not sour, but bad. I would put them, I would put them bottom of F. I would say they're the worst candy so far. I can see how they can grow on you. I'll give them that. I will. Here is the issue that I have with nerds. It's literally sugar. Now, they're not bad. I'm not going to rate nerds a shitty ass tier. I'm not going to rate them like fucking F or anything. I can't even open them, bro. Oh, my God. But they're annoying to me. Like, what? <laughs> Way too damn sweet, bro. I know this is gonna annoy people almost as much as the Snickers. I'm putting them bottom up C. Bottle caps. Bottle caps are fucking eh. Bottle caps are uh, are literally off-brand sweet tarts, which is what we're gonna get to later. But they 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 are literally just sweet tarts, essentially. Same exact thing. They taste more soda-y. As weird as that sounds, I know that's what they're supposed to taste like. Fizzy. I would put them. I would put them below. I would put them below nerds. I would put them C as well. Uh, next is Nerd Rope. Keep this in mind. Nerds Rope, I could literally not find a regular Nerds Rope. I only found a tropical Nerds Rope. It's the same exact thing. It's just the Nerds on the outside are tropical, but the inside of the Nerds Rope is exactly the same. I think Nerds Ropes are amazing. I'll say it. I don't like Nerds. They're loose. They're annoying. But Nerds Ropes are better than Nerds. I'm not putting them any higher than B. I'll probably put them here, right below M&M's. Smarties. <sighs> Smarties, I, I, Smarties, I honestly, I honestly enjoy. I, I know that's going to be a rough, a rough take, but I remember eating these when I was young. Like your teacher would have a bag of Smarties or some shit. They're cheap candy. Some kids would crush them up and you'd like, you would like blow the smoke out of it. Anybody remember doing that? I would say they're, um, I would say they're probably B tier, bottom of B. Um, but yeah, yeah, they're not, they're not that good. They're not that good. They're not that bad. I would say, I would say they're better though. Than, than warheads maybe a little maybe a little worse i would i would be able to compromise and go here but i think i think smarties are fun and, and, and none of these are really fun so i think the fun factor mixed with them being almost as good in terms of taste puts them at the bottom of b sweet tarts sweet tarts are fun sweet tarts are fun sweet tarts are enjoyable you can chew on them or suck them i'm literally uh, bro i don't want to open this box I, it's just like annoying that i have to open every candy because then it's they're just already pre-opened and then i just have like fucking 200 dollars of candy just sitting around but i will do it for the fucking video why does this one say math what the fuck art head art head or math math heart what the fuck this is so stupid 
Why did they put words on it? It's like Valentine's Day. They're not bad. They're sweet tarts. They're fucking okay. I would say they're better. I would say they're better than sweet tarts. Or than Smarties. A or B? I'm putting them B. Like, we have more people, we have more things in B than we do in C. Candy corn. Candy corn's an immediate C tier. Candy corn, before I even rate it, candy corn's an immediate C tier. Bottom of C. Candy corn is fun. Candy corn is not good tasting. Candy corn is equivalent to, um, eating chalk after you eat too many. Um, I remember eating them, like, you eat them, like, you can eat them in, in the, your specific, you can either chew them how you, how you fucking would just eat a normal thing and just pop into your mouth, or you can, like, chew the fucking yellow part first. I would say they're safe. Double bubble, bro. Double fucking bubble. The only, the only candy that you will get on Halloween, that is gum. That is only gum. Now, there's gum in, like, blow pops, but this is the only candy that you will ever get that that is literally just a hunk of gum. Basic flavor. Runs out of flavor very fast. It's not even a candy. It's very meh. Most people are saying F. I would say bottom of E. They're not bad. I would say they're better than the hard candy. Not as good as a ring pop. I'll say they're bottom of E. Fuck Pop Rock. Everybody's gonna be, like, so excited about Pop Rocks because... Oh, Joe, they're the most fun candy in the world. They taste like dog shit, dude. We'll do a little ASMR for, for the fucking... For the fucking meme. I gotta put more in my mouth. Yo! Nah, 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 I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Everybody's saying sus. I don't like that. Bro, they're still popping in my mouth. Where are y'all, where are y'all rating them? I'm rating them F. Fucking fun dip. Fun dip is the, is the exact opposite of fucking fun. I got a big ass strip of fun dip, bro. Fun dip is so meh. It's so meh. I don't even know how to open it. It's like the sticks are here. Oh, these are all fucking flavors. Oh my god. Like, I don't know how to open them. I mean, it's probably instructions and I'm just stupid, but I'm gonna rip it like this. I think this is how you're supposed to do it. You get your little chalk stick, you fucking lick it, and then you, you, you find the slot of goddamn sour shit you want, and you fucking dip it in it, and that's that's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. It covers it in fucking the sour shit, and then you, oh, uh, fun, fun, fun. No. It's sugar on a chalk stick. It is sugar on a chalk stick. Stop acting like it's more than that, chat. It is sugar on a fucking chalk stick. I would rather eat the chalk stick. Bottom of E. Red Hots. I don't even want to eat these, bro. I don't even want to eat these. In all honesty, I don't even want to eat these. It's like, this is the only spicy candy that we're going to have here. I could have done those fucking, like, the other ones that are, that are fucking hot. The ones that are chewy. Cinnamon flavored candy. It's okay. I could see you, like, enjoying one or two. Like, I have two in my mouth right now. I feel like you can tra treat them the same way you do Tic Tacs, right? But you can't. You can't eat this whole box, bro. You're telling me, and this is going to be a waste. And motherfuckers are going to get mad. I'm not going to eat these in this open box now, so it's useless. You're telling me. I have two in my mouth. Those will last 10 minutes. You're going to eat this many. You're going to eat this many. You're going to eat that many. You're going to eat that many. You're going to be fucking kidding me if you're going to eat that many. No. They're bad. They're bad. They're bad. I would rather have them than Fun Dip. I would rather have an assorted candy, though. So I would say I would say they're E tier. Werther's original. The only good grandma candy. One of the only good grandma candies. Arguably one of the best grandma candies. They're enjoyable. It's literally just it's just caramel on a, on a little fucking. If you've never had one of these, a lot of grandmas have them. Literally a block of caramel, hard caramel. Actually, no 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 no. Here here here. A lot of people are saying S. Here's the issue. It's not an S tier Halloween candy. It's an S tier grandma candy, and it might be like a B or an A tier fucking candy in general. But for Halloween-based shit, I would probably put it. I would probably put it right below M&M's. It's not an S. It's not an S. Circus Peanuts. This is the only candy I do not have. I ordered them. I planned on doing this stream three days from the day that I'm recording this. Uh, and they come in in two days. Circus Peanuts, if you've never had them, they're orange flavored marshmallows. They don't have the texture of a marshmallow. They're shaped like a peanut and they taste like, uh, shit. So, okay, now we're, now we're on to the fucking last shit, which is the shit that is not candy that, but you sometimes get on Halloween. Number one. And the only thing that I actually decided to actually test because I'm not bringing a fucking apple or making popcorn and Swiss Miss hot chocolate for this, the Slim Jim. I fuck with Slim Jims. And this is gonna be fucked, bro. I'm putting Slim Jims B. I wouldn't even be mad. If I went trick-or-treating and they gave me a Slim Jim, I'm not mad. Apple, E. Apple still, I would rather eat an apple than any of the shit here. Popcorn, D. I think that's fine. That's fair. Very bland. Hot chocolate, C. Apple's E, because it's just better than this shit. Popcorn is healthy. It's okay. It's better than all this shit, because this shit's kind of bad. Hot chocolate, I fuck with hot chocolate. Number one. It's Swiss Miss hot chocolate, right? Or just any hot chocolate in general. Christmas is coming up. You got that hot chocolate. It's getting colder outside. You, I fuck with that. 
right? And it's just better than this shit. So it's mid tier, right? So that is the, um, completed list. Feel free to fill this out yourself. The title is the biggest Halloween candy tier list maker. Wait, no, that, not the maker part, but tier list. The biggest Halloween candy tier list. This is my rankings. S tier. Reese's, Sour Patch Kids, Sour Patch Kids, Watermelon, Skittles, Kit Kat, Jolly Rancher, Twizzlers, and Twizzlers Cherry. And then just going down in F tier is Jelly Beans, Jawbusters, Whoppers, Pop Rocks, Licorice Twizzlers, Black Licorice Twizzlers, and Circus Peanuts. Oh my god. I think you guys, I thank you guys for watching the fucking stream. I thank you guys, everybody, for tuning in. We had a great viewership today. Uh, feel free to fill out the tier list if you want yourself. I will make this into a YouTube video. But yeah.